Yes. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you're watching from, Mariam Nabuja, I'm your latest guide, your emotion wellness guide, bringing you all the things that money cannot buy, but which makes life worth living: the emotion. So every Friday, we always give you this kind of empowerment program to elevate your understanding in matters of uh, of life. These things that you, you you play with in life, you live with, you think about, but then you take them for granted, which later on affect our emotional being. So, Mariam Nabuja, I'm an author, a counseling psychologist, a life coach, a lover of love, uh, an author of three amazing books. All my books entitled The Ladies Guide as Long As I Read the Title of Step to Something. Ladies Guide to Fulfilling Relationships and True Happiness was our first copy of the book. Uh, Ladies Guide to Emotion Happiness is the second copy, and the Ladies Guide Journal is our third copy. Where do you find these books? All bookshops around your area Aristoc, uh, uh, Matsaka, Barara, Dira. Look for all those major bookshops, you'll have the copy of the Ladies Guide. Yes, also Book Point in uh, Bogolobi and uh, Book Point in Lowawa. All those bookshops have the Ladies Guide books. If you are in the diaspora, uh, UK, US, and uh, um, UAE, we have ambassadors in different areas. You can have a copy of the book. Thank you so much, and thank you for joining in for this empowerment program to change your life just in a critical minute. I'll keep on reminding you that life is physical, mental, emotional, financial, uh, social, and spiritual. Okay? So that is the cocktail that makes you a fully happy human being. Failure in one of the dimensions can compensate for the success of the other. As in, if you are physically healthy, but you're emotionally down, it doesn't match up. If you're emotionally happy, but then you're financially down, it doesn't match up. If you're financially healthy, but then you're spiritually zero, it does not match up. That is how life flows about. So we focus on the social, emotional, and the mental aspect of your life. And sometimes we go into the physical because all this is a cocktail to make your life uh, turn around. Yes. Previously, we talked about lost in a relationship. Feeling lost in love. For those who missed, we talked about a lot of things. How to know that you're feeling lost in love. How, what are the signs that you're actually lost in love? What can you do about it? We talked about a different number of uh, issues, including accept healthy conflict as part of a love relationship, uh, create your personal space, learn to put space even when you're in love, okay? It is very healthy for yourself. Learn to say no to those things you don't believe in, the things you don't want. Don't lie. Don't, you know, don't become a copy of another person, you know, because as as long as you live, it adds up to your life, okay? Learn to say no to those things that you don't like and be open to, to your other half about what you feel is not right. It gives you power back to stay in the relationship and not to cling, okay, to them for your uh, emotional uh, survival. Do not overcompromise. And uh, lastly, we say create healthy boundaries, yes. All relationships need boundaries. Every relationship need boundaries because boundaries uh, put a mark on what somebody should not overstep. And it creates you uh, as a person of, of value, of standards, to avoid anyone who comes over to step into your personal space. So boundaries are very healthy, whether in marriage or whether in uh, dating. It promotes your wellness in, in your physical, I mean in, in your mental health, because most of the time, if you allow people to come into your life and then you don't have boundaries, they do things that will hurt you, you will complain because you never communicated your boundaries in the first place. So those are things we looked at. I will request, in case you missed our last week's uh, upload, please type Mariam Nabuja, Lost in Love, in the search engine of YouTube, the video is going to pop up and you will enjoy the process. Don't forget to subscribe in case it's your very first time to your channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find it useful to you. And don't forget to share because sharing is caring. Share with your friends, family, anyone you feel that they are lost in life. We may be uh, saved by that one uh, session uh, of lost in love. 
So we completed the whole session teaching you that people actually get lost in love. They get lost in life. And finding yourself again is a process. We gave you those steps to follow through. So the next time you fall in love, or if you're already there, you can practice them step by step like I told you. Step by step, don't mean a hurry of the whole thing, no. Just take it in steps by step up to when you catch up the rhythm, okay? So that is what we looked at last week. Today, we have a new amazing topic. Commitment. The fear of commitment. People who are fearing commitment. If you have commitment issues, if your partner has commitment issues, if you know someone near you, somebody who is close to you, who has commitment issues, please inform them that this is a topic for them. The reason of this show is to help you develop commitment as one of the habits in life, not only in romantic relationships, but in other aspects of your life. Job, career, friendships, cities, places. You learn to commit to even habits when you need to change. We are going to take you through a series of, 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 of steps on how to embrace commitment in your life. Commitment, like any other habit, is like a cable. You keep on adding thread by thread by thread until it's very hard to break. When somebody has learned commitment, they become committed in all other aspects of their life. Okay? People who lack commitment in other things can't even commit to a relationship. That is why most of the positions in organizations are given to married people. Why? Because if someone can commit to another person, they can easily commit to a job. As simple as that. If they can commit to another person in love, they can commit to a career. They can commit to a project. They can commit to a friendship. They can commit to all those other things because the habit has already been grasped by the mind. The mind works in a very amazing way. When you want the mind to serve you in anything you want, you need to take it through a series of change for it to get married to your new, you know, your new normal. You don't just wake up in the morning and say, I want to be committed. You don't come to commitment just like that. Commitment, like any other habit, is learned, is taught, is practiced. You practice and practice and practice that after many years of that practicing, it becomes a way of life. So, when you find somebody who is not committed, hmm, think twice. They will never be committed to anything. If they're not committed in love, if they're not committed to partners, I'm sorry to say, if they're not committed to friendships, if they're not committed to jobs, someone can't keep a job for three years, they can't commit to anything else. They will always move like yeah, hoping from relationship to relationship, hoping from homes to homes, hoping from uh, uh, careers to careers. This year, they are they're in business. Next year, they're starting coaching classes. Next year, now they're in fishing. Then next year, they're in mushrooms. They never stand a chance of being on one thing and giving them their 100% of attention. That is commitment. And that's what you're going to look at in our new series. So we are going to look at the signs of people who lack commitment, the signs that you lack commitment, the signs that your partner lacks commitment. We are going to look at those signs. Then we are going to look at the causes. Why do people have gamophobia? The term is called gamophobia in psychology. Gamophobia is that mental aspect where people never commit to anything. It is like a way of life. As they are coming to, to the last moment of something and they, are, they have learned the whole trade, they shift attention to something new. In other words, they are addicted to new things that they can hardly keep old things. Anything which is old becomes undesirable to them. Anything which is new is always attractive. And that is a problem to this generation. Where people are not taught commitment. This is the generation. The forefathers are usually committed because even technology was not there before. They were committed to one partner. They were committed to a home. They were committed to, you know, friendships. There was no social media. But right now we are in, 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 in a technological world, 
where we have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you know, you know, you know, TikTok, people are all over each other. It is very easy for people to change friends, to change cities, to change jobs, to change <laughs> because ideas are coming in every other time. As you're learning baking, somebody's coming up with mushrooms. As you are trading mushrooms, someone says, oh, grasshoppers are selling in the Uganda Airlines. You, you go to grasshoppers. As you're doing grasshoppers, you get an idea, oh, wow, in Canada, there's an opportunity you take off to Canada. As you're in Canada, they say, oh, there's a course in Australia, which is, they're hopping from places to places to places. And you know what happens to lack of commitment? You don't achieve anything in life. After all those many years of hopping, like a grasshopper on different things, you end up exactly where you were before. Because commitment is the only way you can get results from anything you give a hundred percent of your time. And that is the reason for this session. But before we get started, let's look at one of our partners, Silagen Switzerland. Silagen is not a drug, it is a food supplement. With a food supplement, we mean it is something you take to supplement on those things that you cannot find where you are. You know? Personally, I don't eat fish. I've never eaten fish all my life. Fish? No. I've never eaten fish. Which means I usually lack certain kinds of proteins. I compensate usually either in eggs or in beans. Okay? But lack of eating fish can affect your life in matters of those um, good fats. And also the brain functionality. Only that I compensate. I do other supplements which can compensate for that. Because I don't eat fish. I need to find out what can I do which can look like it. In other words, this is not only a food supplement with fish. But it has all those benefits of marine, you know, life in one. In one. I will not call it a tablet. It is a supplement. When I take this, I've taken a full fish. <laughs> that because those things are good but then I tend to eat a lot or less of it I don't know personally why we do this supplement is to look ahead of your life 30 years from now will I look like this I told you by 60 years when I'm launching my last book of life I think I'll last, the last book I write I will be in the 60s I'll look the same way like this I take lots of water. Huh? So I'll be this old woman who is happy. Huh? It's an anti-aging tablet. An anti-aging food supplement. Which makes your body get all these nutrients. You know? To revitalize itself. Because every day that goes, my body is growing, the cells are growing old, and every other time, your age counts on you. So, Silagen, Switzerland, is one of the things every woman needs. It's in this kind of box. This box has like a hundred pieces of this tablet. You take one every day, one every day. One, I tell you by after two boxes, the skin is like... Saga I'm This is the tab. Uh, <laughs> I take it. Eh? I take it because I know. Mm. And it does the magic in the body. I don't need to go to fish to get to the lake to get fish. Uh, uh, uh. But not only fish, only the difference is it has marine life in it. Marine steak is an Indian yanja in the sea in the Africa. Babi jamu sea. Deep sea, eh? those big, eh? which means it not only works on the physical body, it works on the mental, and it gives me that uh, bodily uh, vitality to have this kind of energy. So, one of the advantages of silagen is it stimulates cellular rejuvenation and repair. The body must get repair. It 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 helps delaying age. Look at the one bowl. I was talking to one of my girls. She's like in 20, I think in 23. Let me go look at you and look at me. But take all the way to the Why she she likes eating? Let me go stop eating anything you want. Be very conscious. Because one, you will grow older than your age. So, Sarah Jane 
now helps you to aid with your spirit. It helps on all those inside systems, a polar magic, I cannot explain. I take care of my, my health so much because that is an asset in life. So, Seragen is an anti-aging. You need it. 30 to 40, you're aging every day. 40 to 50, you'll start getting your miswork making. Now I'm medicated. All the signs that the age has gone. Yeah? Then the, the cheeks are no longer healthy. Yeah? The cheeks start getting lines, wrinkles, etc. This is what I use to improve my life. So, anti aging, whether you're 60, 70, 80, any woman who no way in a mamunga, a mabu, gamuruma, smanyo mungu, ebigere bikoni, this is something you can use. It comes like this. And each one of it is one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. Thank me later. Gamophobia. <laughs> Introduction to fear of commitment. Those who have it, your partner has it, your brother, sister, yeah? son, daughter, friend has gamophobia. Watch the show to the end. So are you dating or married someone with gamophobia? Gamophobia, gamma means in Greek, marriage. Phobia is fear. So fear of marriage or fear of commitment is called gamophobia. Gamophobia is so common in this day and age because many people are not being taught as to why they need a committed relationship. And they don't even know the reason why they are not committed in the first place. Most of these people who storm you come with lots of love. They love you. Someone shows you all those sweet nothings. You wait. And when a relationship is start, starting to take some bit of next phase of development, they disappear. And then you begin to look again. And many of you think it's a problem. Someone may say, this is a problem with me. I think I'm not black in relationships. No, you have gamophobia. No one is bewitching you. You need to understand that the fear of commitment is rampant, and they, most people have it, only that they're not aware of this term. When someone has gamophobia, they have deep fear of commitment. Anything concerned with making them committed, they run away from it, even if it means something good to them. Even if you give them something so good, they will run away because they fear investing their 100% in one thing. They'd rather be all over the place. This fear is so intense that it, it, it's very impossible for the person who has gamophobia to form a long-term relationship. It doesn't go beyond one year. Two years, by the third year, they're tired. They begin again. One year, two years, three years, they're tired. They begin again. If you move so close, they go to five years. By the tenth year, the marriage has to close. They want to begin again. That is gamma. So when you have this kind of uh, mental problem, you don't commit to even other things in life. So this fear of commitment does not does not only happen in love or in romantic relationships. It can go to jobs. It can go to careers. It can go to even friendship. Someone cannot have a friend for one year. Every year they have new friends. Every after six months they change friends. Every three months they change a friend or a job. That is gamma. So these people with commitment issues, when they come to you in dating or when you get married to them, even when you do your best to keep the relationship working, they end up disappointing you. For no reason. Statements like come, statements like this come up. Well, I don't think I'm ready. I, I want to check. I want to check myself. Eh? Uh, they have gone. When you say I love you, now they talk off. When you take off, now they come. It's as if they want something, but they don't need it. They want to eat their cake and have it at the same time. It is like cat mouse game. You keep chasing, they run away. When they chase you, then you come and then they, they, they take off. Gamma, phobia. So the definition of 
the fear of, of commitment or gamophobia is the fear of dedicating yourself to something for a long time. The point being long time. That fear that comes into your mind when it comes to committed things for a long time is what they call gamophobia. That's why as someone is trying a new trade, instead of keeping in that line for a long time, they begin a new trade. When they go to a certain city, they fear committing to anything because it's actually boring. One writer in, in his book is called uh, The Fiftieth Law. The guy said, boredom is the beginning of development. Why? Every time you do something and you feel bored with it, that is when it is paying back. Do you see how interesting it is? At that point when you feel bored, when you're doing something like me, I've been doing this, I'm an author, this guy has now clicked, we're now clicking 10 years. 10 years, the book is making 10 years, and I've not changed my word. I've not changed any word. I've not changed the title of the book. Nothing. So the growth of this project is in the test of time. Now it is bringing results. Now, as it is bringing results, then you close. You said something new. That is gamophobia. It is the fear of commitment to something. And which this writer said, when Boadoma set in in any project, please don't leave. That is where the results are. Because every time you begin a new phase, you begin a new uh, phase of development, which has learning disabilities. You need to learn the trade. You need to learn the people. You need to market it. You need to put it into people's minds. You need, you know, there is a lot of work to be done. Brand it. Yet this has already reached. That is the beauty of keeping one thing for a long time. So then, the writer says, as people are jumping from trade to trade, relationship to relationship, friends to friends, places, please stick to one thing because that is where the answer is. This is so interesting that um, my mom has done the same business for now 40 years. Then I asked her one day, don't you wake up in one day, one day and you say, this thing has been here for so long. Because we've seen you doing this business when I was young. I've grown seeing this business. All your grandchildren are found in the same business. She's doing the same thing. She has never changed. And I'm telling you right now, she knows the business more than anyone. She knows where to get the stuff. She knows every nitty gritty because she has become the master. It took me time to understand when I read about it. That someone who does one thing and stays longer in that thing, no matter how long it takes, they get results. More than you who is hopping from business to business places. You begin again. All the time you're, you're beginning again. You will never go. You will never reach where you're going. Now, let's solve that problem of gamophobia. In today's show, we are going to give you the signs that you have commitment issues. The signs that your partner has commitment issues. Watch till the end. Cake Paradise, as one of our partners, Cake Paradise says happiness starts here. <laughs> as they're making your cake, they're doing all these confectionaries for you. Cake Paradise brings happiness to your events. Do you have a birthday uh, shower? Do you have a bridal shower? Do you have a baby shower? Do you have a wedding anniversary? Do you have a wedding reception? Do you have an introduction? Do you have a corporate event? Please give uh, Cake of Paradise a contract to make a cake for you. All their contacts are included in our description section below. If you want their contacts, please go to the description section. Cake Paradise, the contact is going to be there. Reach them for all your needs. Or come to my inbox, I give you the number to make you that wonderful celebratory cake to make your life memorable. I mean, to make your event memorable. So, Cake Paradise has a saying that happiness begins with them. Okay? Many people are making cakes, but they may not deliver in time. They may not give you the quality you want. And they may not add this love and happiness to that product. That's what makes Cake Paradise very different. You want their numbers? Click in the description section or come to my inbox. I'll share the number for Cake Paradise. Fear of commitment. We continue. Commitment in definition means dedicating yourself to something for a long time. So, 
sika tono ntuka tu genda ba gizo kusala uko because i see it's a problem not only in relationships but also in life that's why many people have failed to be successful they are not committed it has taught me when i'm working with many people especially in these projects i'm having where are people here not committed someone is even paid and they don't appear someone is given a, 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 a contract to work and they disappear i've seen a lot of that in this community and i'm in shock in uganda africa people are not committed even when you give them work to do they run away not doing it even when they were paid that is because commitment as an habit is not at the foundation of their development so as i'm teaching you these things please let's look at commitment omuntu okwemalira mu chintu yintandi kwa yimbo ya kulanga temugamba anti abantu abali successful bali ne bisembi banange to me there is no difference between anyone as well you and them they simply committed you not even in marriage those who have succeeded in marriage they are committed you not because they have that aspect of okwemalira mu chintu 100% of your time to one thing you achieve it One writer says why does the ba- why why does the sun burn nothing yet it is the most most eh, uh, light with a lot of heat what you are saying because its energy is dispersed like this when you walk up above one you cannot and when you put a focused glass it can burn a paper that's the same thing with people who are not committed they don't burn anything they are all over the place He, in this country to another country to this friendship to the To this relationship to next every time they are beginning again it takes you a while like i said you get learning disabilities every person who comes with a new set of friends you have, you have to learn their friends you have to learn your friends you have to learn their habits you have to put up with their you know iniquities it is see that's a long time now as you're learning them and you've learned them you jump out of the and then you begin again that is why and this is the reason for this show to teach you how to commit to things I learned the hard way because I also had the same problem because my mind is so fast. I really stay in something so long. I don't understand that that was my problem. That's why when I did this project, I said on one thing, I have not changed my words. Ten years, ten years. When we were this function, um, when um, when the Queen was launching her book, um, uh, the Navagrika, uh, we happened to meet. Because I was handing her my books, the first thing she looked at was when was the book published. So she said, "Wow, 2013." I said, "Yes." Now you're 10 years. Yes, she understood. I'm not. I'm a serious person. Because if the book is published in 2013, it is still available to you now. It means I am. I'm on one course. I'm not changing. By the 10th year, which is this year, huh? I'm fully committed. Now it's giving me results. because i've stood the test of time and the beauty with it is that even those who come into the industry it is very difficult for them to move you away why because 10 years you become a master of the game i know the best editors i know how to sell the book i know when the book that can't sell i know every nitty gritty about writing wake me up i'll give you all the answers on authoring because i've been in the, in this trade for 20, 10 years Now I'm the master. Actually, I'm going to do a training on those who want to write. I now can author, help others be authors, publish. I've known the game. I know the media houses. I know everything because 10 years is a long, long time. You can't launch a book now and it takes me out of the market. Impossible. Because 10 years is a long time. One of the writers called it the law of hypnotic rhythm. The law of hypnotic rhythm says When something has stayed longer doing the same thing repetitively it gets that momentum that energy which is beyond the owner or the manufacturer it takes on a life of its own like this guy has already taken your life i no longer it is in different countries it has gone to countries i've never gone to you know people write to me they need it in different countries you have someone here i need a book you know people are taking planes with it it's no longer me doing the work now the law of hypnotic rhythm nature has taken has taken on the course of the book not me now because it has stayed longer and that is the word commitment so is love when you commit to one person for a longer time the law of hypnotic rhythm now comes in to take over the relationship the next level 
it's not now it's not your work don't even waste time uh, uh chasing around your your partner where are you now are they being taken no nature is now on them because it has taken longer the longer you stay in something the more committed you become the more you stay in one thing the more nature takes on you and then it gives you results as simple as that isn't that beautiful so then Commitment means dedicating yourself to something for a long time. People who have commitment issues fear talking about the future. They don't want to talk about the next phase of the development of the relationship. They are as if this can be forever. If dating, they want to date you for 20 years in dating, excuse me, that's no longer dating. The moment the relationship goes beyond one year, two years, that asks the girl, what is that? What definition is it? Because if it goes beyond one year, two years, it must elevate, it must transcend, it must move the next level of development. Call it commitment. <laughs> Boring, but that's how it's done. So then, so then, from one of the topics in my book, The Ladies' Guide to Fulfilling Relationships and to Happiness, we talked about Mr. Afraid of Commitment. Let me just read you one word or two. Or three. Mr. Afraid of Commitment. You go on a great couple of dates. Things are going on wonderfully well. You feel chemistry. You click on so many different levels. You're compatible. But you never hear from him again. He's never able to discuss his feelings. He distances himself every time you express feelings. <laughs> and every time you talk about the feelings of God, he distance. He's afraid of intimacy and what follows with it. So, you try not to pressure him and accept the flow of things because you think maybe if you give him some time, he will come around and choose you. He never comes and comes by. You may be of this kind of man who falls in the category uh, of Mr. Afraid of Commitment. Even women. The more closer you get, the greater away. The more you get away, they come. I got out of that mess long time ago. That's why I wrote about this kind of things. So every time you try to express feelings that you're getting closer, but that is Mister afraid of commitment. They have commitment issues. They have gamophobia. Mugambe, honey, you have gamophobia. What is gamophobia? I'm gonna type Maria in the in the description section in the in the, in the search engine. Write Maria Mnaguja gamophobia. She'll give you the definition. This video will pop up. Because as I come, you go. As I go, you come. Why don't you want us to be vulnerable to each other? I mean, that's what love is all about. So, Mr. Afraid of Commitment or Mrs. Afraid of Commitment, every time you develop feelings and then you discuss that something is cooking, they shine away from you. That is what gets interesting with this kind of subject. Commitment issues. So let's look at the signs of lack of commitment in yourself. Look at these signs and check yourself. If you're having any of these four happening in your life, you have a problem of gamma. Before we talk about your partner, let's talk about you. Number one, when you lack commitment in yourself, you, you don't like emotional attachments. Anything that brings emotional attachment, you take off. What is emotional attachment? Every time you build time with someone, every time you stay with anybody, anything for quite a long period of time, you develop emotional attachment to it. Because of that, proximity and the distance closure you have so commitment leads to romantic attachment when you love somebody when you're in love omuvu omwagala no musembira chiri automatic mufuna emotional attachment kakati wolabanga mukwagala nenga tesagala ku developinga commitment over attachment you na nawe you're confusing the brain the brain knows that every time you spend with something for a long time, 
you develop emotional attachment. But here I am, you are with someone, every time you're getting closer, they talk off. They don't want emotional attachment. You don't want it. So every time you don't want any attachment with anybody, romantically, you have a problem of gamophobia. Do you have emotional attachment issues? Okay. Women. Women like bad guys. I don't know why. Men who abuse them, you chase them. The men who are too good. The one ready for you. Because you have gamophobia. Anybody who is emotionally unavailable is attractive to you because you also don't want emotional attachments with anybody. Gamophobia. Number two. Every time you feel or every time someone says I love you, you serious, snatch it down. You feel as if it's a trap. Why are they trapping me? It's as if it is bad. I mean, you are looking for love. Every woman needs love. Everybody needs love. But then when I come to say I love you and I'm serious about it, you feel as if it's a trap. I think it's a trap. Gamophobia. You have a problem. Someone is saying I love you and they mean it. They're doing all things in this world to show that they love you. And then the closer they get with that word, the more you feel about trapping them. Do you see how funny it is? You have commitment issues. Sign number three. For anyone who has commitment issues, yourself now. You spend a lot of time questioning the relationship. Have you ever met somebody? Are you really sure that you love me? Mm-mm. Everybody was question, who questions the relationship is having commitment issues. I guess I if you hear such questions from somebody's mouth, ha, honey, you don't know. I've got scars on my heart. Think twice. <laughs> With love, it has to be merry, celebration. Are you really in it? Huh? It is like now a job. You have a commitment issue. Number four. People, now you, when you have commitment issues, you don't want the future. Living in the now is very important and we really, really embrace that as emotional wellness. But then when we are in relationships, when we have romantic relations, we must see the future of the relationship. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are the discussions again in the future? But when you see that you're with someone, you're going to talk about your relationship. They only want to talk about the present. Only now you have a problem. This person is not willing to commit to the relationship. You're not willing. And that's why you don't talk about the future. Move it now. Let's enjoy it. As the future is coming, why do you think about the future? Let's not talk about it. Enjoy me now. What is the ring for? What is commitment for? You have me. As if time is not moving. As if change doesn't happen. That's how many of you stay in dating for 10 years. Through these same statements. People tell you, am I not with you? Are we not together? Are we not in love? What is legalizing for? Akubuza in the Ganuyachi Gandina. I always remind you. Commitment does not mean love. Uh -uh. Commitment means I am going to be with you whether the sun shines, whether it rains, I am here in hundred percent with and without the sun. Commitment means I'm a hundred percent available and responsible for the relationship, irrespective of what is going to happen in between. 
Meaning as I'm taking off to another country and I meet this brilliant lady, beautiful Maria, I cannot change my statements of what I said because I'm already committed to someone else. That's the beauty of commitment. When there's no commitment, I can easily change. And I regret meeting you. In fact, one of someone said it was nice knowing you. People change because they weren't in the gang. I can change to someone new. Life offers new opportunities every day that the sun rises. Beautiful girls are being born. Handsome men are getting rich. You can change. That is why commitment is not, is not always remember. Much as somebody is saying I love you a hundred times, but there is no commitment. It does not transit into a longer term affair. It can end along the way. Someone meets someone new. They click, they click, they click, they click, they click. And someone is like, I'm very sorry. It was nice. No, again. Not too far. Don't go for that. So those are some of the signs for somebody with commitment issues. Gwe, Ngozina. One, Bagambie, or one emotional attachment. emotional attachments. You don't want anything which attaches emotions. Two, you feel trapped when someone says, I love you. Three, you spend a lot of time questioning the author when you meet one. We have anger, gamba, I love you. We have anger, nail, like a number. You're in the bed. Oh, baby, I feel my life. Mm mm, or in back way. Huh? Moment, no jit. We have anger, same as I have to wait. How many have you given this gift? Am I the only one? Ever over with a lot of number. You have commitment to some. Lastly, you don't talk about the future. That, uh, that is a sign of somebody in uh, having commitment issues yourself. Okay? Now let's look at uh, commitment issues with the partner. Signs of commitment issues now with your partner. At Ozaba Montemala, same way. They are the same. Equally the same. If you're ready for a serious something and somebody's not ready for the serious something, it is a mismatch. As in the who said, it will not work. It causes many people to be heartbroken. As I'm waiting for you, as I'm investing myself in you 100%, what are you doing at the end? Are you waiting for it? Shall I wait forever for this love to blossom into something new? Serious? It is a problem. So, let's look out on the following signs when somebody has commitment issues. That way or who Number one, before we go there, <laughs> Professor Bio Research, one of our partners, uh, who gives you all these organic products to elevate your life, to grow your emotional health, to grow your mental wellness, to grow your physical body. Among them, we talked about uh, last week again Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan pink salt uh, prevents goiter. If you don't need a goiter, please try the Himalayan pink salt. It improves digestion, high blood pressure. It reduces high blood pressure. How do you use this salt? Just put it in, a, in soup or sauce. Take or you can add it in warm water and drink. Proof by research and Himalayan salt. You want proof by research? The contact, please go to the description section below or you can go to Kampala Road. Uh, it's on the entrance of Pretoria, Little Boy India, approved by, by research by Professor Nyandi Julius from Kenkofu. Bulichoya Kalachona, Genda Yogamba Mariam, Nabujata, this guy, by Jokwa, 10% discount on everything you're going to buy from that place. Okay? Ladies' guide is the passcode. Okay? Botukayo, Gamba Bugam, anything. I want him around this old. Ladies' guide, Nabaku Wandi Kilabaku Jirako, 10% on anything you're going to buy from proof by research. Uh, Proof by research also has Gotukola powder. Gotukola powder, a uh, yamba brain and energy boosting. Works on insomnia. Aba tebaka. Gokwe baka kuzimwa yoyi ne bila uzuvinge. Powder no muteke mazi kumunwe. Skin toning. Akola munda. Mola bane ngangu zemirundi. Eno siraji. Eno rachi siyake. Zena 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 kibo umasuka. Eh no, sebanya chaku blaka chaku. Mo maje bitu yenu. Hey, cha ta 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 ta. In that, if you if you get my blood, I think I ina mo mixa yenu kuga chukumi. 
just to get this. It's a job, you know? Looking after yourself is a job. Because I'm thinking people of my age, I was thinking about Kupse. I'm so upset. But Kupse, when you say, they don't take their, themselves as an asset. I am an asset because without me, I can't deliver this bag to you. So, you know, you never know because it's up. I'm so happy with you. Remember my words. But I have started early to work with my aunt Edith. So go to the powder, add it in a cup of hot water, drink, and the magic begins. So Proof by research, Mugendeyo, ten percent. But Jabawa, the teacher told me about Deyo. Assemble the data, over assemble the positive emotion. Any kind of treatment you want, positive emotion has been a partner, I think, for life. But now Mugendeyo, Mary, I'm not going to let this guy the ten percent discount for any treatment you want. But when the people are coming to you, they will not let. But when you go to get it, but when you go to get it, but when you go to get it, eh? If you want spa, if you want steam, if you want gymming, please go to Positive Emotions. Positive Emotion has one word. It believes that everybody is positive. I think about my poor will service. No gamble one cup of send you. Oh, just some more gamble of sandy to gamble. Oh, so okay. Oh, gamble. Happiness begins now. There's a lot you get from Positive Emotion. It overlooks the golf course. As they work on you, look at the golf course like this. No longer green, you know, more Okay? So we feel going to do which I tell you, I'm going to be saving. I need to take care of myself. That's why I say you're the engine. You're the engine of your life. So take care of yourself, so that your body will serve you well. Positive emotion, please go there, and they work on you, body, spirit, and soul. Back to commitment issues in the partner. Mugambo, because you're not going to be Yes, this is my friend. I'm trained with this, okay? I'm trained to help you find emotional wellness. Maria Mabuja, I'm the wellness guide. Number one, when your partner has commitment issues, one, they don't open up or share their deep thoughts. You're with them, but you don't know them. They don't want to be vulnerable. In love is only when we feel aligned with others. We become vulnerable to them. Somebody is not vulnerable to you. That is one of the signs that they are not willing to do something serious with you. They don't share their childhood days. Hats that do get up, dislikes, Muria only which you pretty play in China with them. Or more to Alakinga, commitment. Number two, communication, communication, communication. I always say it and I will say it again. Communication is the blood of a relationship, even business. When I don't communicate with you, I am not in the relationship with you. No commitment means no relationship, full stop. As simple as that. So they don't text you. They don't call you. When you call them and you text them, they return your text after seven days, three days, two days, and tell you how busy they are. That is not a relationship. So no communication. Lack of a communication equals lack of emotional availability. If I want to be emotional and available, it's lack of being for me. If I'm not communicating with you, I'm not emotionally available for you. As simple as that. So when you're with this person, they are not emotionally invested in you. Enough said. They are not taking you more. Number three. When you are with someone who has commitment issues, gamophobia, they don't want to talk about the future. Now we go to the future. Future, what future and But what now? Why are you talking about the future? In fact, if you, you you insist on that discussion, they can even it can become violent with an open one. They can not want to watch on the community. Mr. Yaga, you got to go now. 
My backup backup? Is a dead match, yes? I don't want to be with you, but I want to. I don't want a future with you, but I want to be with you. Which means they are they are using you for some time. Till when they get an idea. It's a waste of time. You know? If somebody is with you, they want to discuss future with you. They don't want to talk about where the relationship is going. They don't want to see the next stage of the relationship. They want to enjoy now, now. Eh? Enough is said. They don't see a future with you. Number four, signs of commitment issues in a partner. They invest in nothing in the relationship. Nothing. Investment in a relationship has a lot of angles. There is financial investment. There is social investment. There is, there is a spiritual investment. There is emotional investment. There is physical investment. But what physical is going to be in update? What are you physically present? If mentally and emotionally, tell you about enough said. If emotionally, tell you what. If financially they are not present with you, enough said. If all those levels, socially, you don't know their people, they know all your friends and family, but you don't know any of their people, enough is said. They never even want to introduce you to their meaningful relationships because they don't see themselves with you in the future. Enough said. So investment takes a lot of angles. They don't even make plans with you. Even when they make plans with you, they cancel them in the last minute. And so come back, oh, Friday, let's go out. But then Friday, they enter. Enough said. They are not committed to you. Number five. They have multiple relationships. I think this is obvious. They have multiple relationships. If somebody is cheating, cheating, having a lot of girlfriends, a lot of Guys here and there. Eh? Tebali committed to anyone. A double-minded man can never achieve anything. They are here and there. They are burning nothing. Which means whatever I'm telling you, I'm telling her, I'm telling her, I'm telling her. I'm telling him, I'm telling him, I'm telling him. So I'm not in anyone. Commitment means one person and you give them all a hundred percent your time. But if I'm not giving you a hundred percent of my time and I'm all over the place with different people, enough. Said. So a person who has commitment issues runs multiple relationships. So then, if you find that your partner has multiple relationships, please, enough said. Okay? So join in next week as we complete the session on, um, on commitment issues. And in summary, those are some of the signs in commitment issues in yourself and in your partner. Next week, let's talk about the causes of gamophobia and how to deal with gamophobia. How do you deal with this commitment issue? If you have commitment issues, how do you deal with it? How do you raise yourself above that fear of commitment? And you say, I'll do something, I'll mean it, and I'll come through. Okay? That is where life begins. If you find that your partner has all those, please, don't, don't react immediately. Okay? Let's watch uh, next week and see what we can do about it. Mariam Nabuja, I'm going to disguise your emotional world every time. Every Friday bring you the things that money cannot buy, but which makes life worth living. The emotions, things you cannot talk about with others, but which I come here to tell you. Okay? You think it, I talk it. You know? And then we come to that understanding. Thank you so much. And I remind you, Silagen Switzerland, Proof by Research, Cake Paradise, Positive Emotion, and Bella Wine. They work all in harmony to bring you this useful content that is elevating your life. Don't miss to share this with a friend because sharing is caring. And in case you're watching for the very first time, please hit that red button below so that you get all these videos. Every time I upload a video, you get this information with yourself. We have now a new series every Monday called the 7 Minutes of Inspiration. 7 Minutes of Inspiration, we give you each and every experience I've gone through personally where i am now the books have read the things i've learned in only seven minutes to begin your week okay so when monday and kusawa or checking up channel kubera ko video you take out either for sunday or back on monday for my chair next monday you know kubera ko ngekula geta obi and sonia gengize never been to you know kumanya just for seven minutes that you come some so can you go to the vote never go to mukubu so kula kubu okay please use those seven minutes for your inspiration absolutely free okay we are having a blast people are discovering oh um it's amazing in only three weeks people have discovered their calling 
their businesses have taken a new turn. My students are all fired up. I was like, wow, you know, we are moving to the next phase of development. So discover my, my your life purpose is one of the projects I'm having now. And that's why I can't go live with you guys because we usually have these sessions differently and I need to give them absolutely 100% of my time. And like I promised, every Friday you'll be getting the video, okay? I may not go live, but it will be uploaded. I am fully 100% committed to service. And I'll do serve you, Mariam Naguja. I'm the Ladies Guide and see you again next week when we are rolling into the causes of gamophobia, the fear of commitment and how to deal with it. See you again next week.